Hi, I am uh, Avinash. Today we will discuss something related to finding groundwater. You may be knowing some old sayings. We used to call water diviners to find water down below the ground. And you might have seen people moving around with coconuts, maybe white twig, pendulums, and L rods. Today I will try to demonstrate how we can find groundwater with the help of L rods. So what are L rods? L rods are nothing but small, maybe copper or coat hanger, just in the shape of L, a small L which you have, just in the shape of L, these rods are there. So what you have to do is, then you may say that how, how we can find water with this help of L rods. I try to demonstrate one. What you have to do is you have to take two L rods. One you hold it in your right hand. The second one you hold it in your left hand. The smaller portion would be held as I have done. Now once the rods are held in this particular position, if you see in this particular side, they are when they are in the parallel position, they remain parallel. If you just pull them up, they may churn. Okay? If you pull them, if you put them a little bit down, means this portion, if it's a little bit tilted towards ground, then they will remain stable. So what we have to do is, with the help of these L rods, we'll move on the chairing of the earth. Now consider that we are moving on the chairing of the earth. Then, what you have to do is, suppose I'm moving, suppose I take these L rods and start moving on this earth surface. So when I move around, I just walk around, okay. At this moment, they deflect. If I turn around, come back again, at this moment, they deflect. So am I moving this? No. They are getting automatically moved. I have some charges in my body which are transferred to the charges on the rods. If the rod gets charged and whatever radiations which are coming from ground, whatever radiations which are coming from ground, they interact and we get a reaction. So what is this reaction? It's just deflection, simple deflection. Most of you might have studied in your school days some sort of gold leaf electroscope. Or you might have studied during, say, uh, the earlier days, static electricity. So if you comb your hair and just touch some of the papers, then you'll be finding that the papers get attracted. The similar principle is used in this particular part. Whatever the radiations are there, which are coming from ground, the moment you get similar charges coming on these rods, they deflect. Okay? It is just a simple technique. And this happens with most of the people. So what's working on is not the rods. It is the human body which is working on. The human body is interacting with the ground below. Rods are just like a needle on a meter. They are just trying to tell you that there is some sort of deflection. We may have some practical examples on the field. We identified the edges of a vein. Okay, so how did you do that? We walked on either side. So we went from this side, we crossed the vein and again came back. And wherever the deflection was there, means the straight rods were here, something like this. When they went on the vein, they got deflected like this. So on the vein, again, they were straight. And when the second crossing was there, again, they got deflected. So in this way, we identified that a small bore well was here and we just went identifying the vein walking on this particular vein crisscross. So from here you went again here, again from here, here. So this line of the vein was identified. Similarly on other side, wherever deflection was there, you identified the other side of the vein. 
So this is the whole patch where the ground water is moving. So when you move around on these particular tracks, you will be finding that the rod deflects. When you are crossing the vein, the, when you are crossing the edge of the vein. So this is the first edge and when you cross again, this is the second edge. So in between, we have this ground water which is flowing at a very, very low level. Maybe 100 feet, 200 feet, 300 feet, whatever the things are there. So what we have observed here is, we identified the first well somewhere here and then tried to trace the edges of the vein and ultimately have come down to a second bore well which is there on the same vein and we are finding that this bore well is pumping out water. So in this way, it's very easy. So over here you found that it is just capped whether water is there or not. But in this case, you are finding that the water is there existing and it, the water is being pumped from the ground itself. So ground water exists. So what we are saying is that when we, whenever we cross one end or to the other, the human body is reacting from inside. So what's happening is on these rods, the charges from the body are being transferred. Similarly, whatever the charges are there, which are coming from the ground water, vein which is there right below, those are also coming up vertically. In other words, if I take a section here, I will be finding that this is the ground level. Somewhere over here is the water front and this is the vertical charge which is coming up. When I come down in over here, with the help of these rods, they are straight. But the moment I come at this particular pace, these rods deflect. So this charge which is coming up and the charge in my body interact and the law of static elasticity works. So like charges repel each other. So whatever like charges are there, they come on these particular two rods from my body and this creates some sort of force on the rods and you have a deflection. So in this way, we can say that human body works as a detecting device and it can detect anything which is underground. It may be water, it may be minerals, it can be mines, it can be coal, it can be oil. Anything which is below the earth can be detected by the human system. So go find water anywhere. Thank you.